I think for the next, hopefully this can be Shark Tank 2.0 or 3.0 uh, and run for the next 10, 15 years and, and really kind of take crypto to the masses. Yes. Today we sit down with Grammy nominated creative director, Paul Kesslin, who is the showrunner of an upcoming show called Killer Whales, sort of the web three version of Shark Tank. Now, I'm so excited to share this with you because one, my brother and I, Altcoin Daily, we are judges, we are producers of the show. And two, just like the original Shark Tank back in 09, brought entrepreneurship and investing into the mainstream, it popularized it. The goal of this show, Killer Whales, is to do the same with crypto. Before we get to Killer Whales, what's your background? Because I know you're a Grammy nominated creative director. Yes, that's correct. So my background is in the TV industry. I've spent 15 years kind of directing and producing shows, um, including the VMAs for MTV and the Grammys uh, as well. And I work with some of the biggest artists in the world from kind of Rihanna to Justin Bieber to The Weeknd. Um, and via that path, it's kind of left me, left, led me into the crypto industry with the creation of a Web3 entertainment company called Hello Labs. And Killer Whales is the, for lack of a better comparison, shark Web3 Shark Tank that Aaron and I are going to be judges, producers on. What is Killer Whales? So first of all, I'm super excited to have you guys on board. I feel like you're not only great on camera and handsome, handsome guys, you're also going to bring so much credibility to the show and really help kind of amplify it across different mediums, including YouTube and, and the TV side of it. But if I had to kind of sum up Killer Whales in a few sentences, if you were to take Shark Tank, The X Factor, crypto and NFTs and put them all in a melting pot, the result would be Killer Whales. It's basically going to be the kind of first venture into kind of mainstream television for a crypto show. Yeah, that's what I'm excited about. Crypto is just getting more and more mainstream, something like this. Um, just like entrepreneurship back in 2009 with the start of regular Shark Tank really brought entrepreneurship onto the American or I guess world global scene. Excited about killer whales bringing crypto to the mainstream. But my question then for you, Paul, is what's your why for, for killer whales? What made you want to do something like this? Well, I mean, I've obviously been in the TV industry 15 years and I've been in the crypto industry for two years. And in those two years, I've probably seen more drama and scandal and characters than I have in all of those 15 years in the TV industry combined. And like, and, and also when you factor in the money that's involved as well, it just makes a great recipe for something that is not only dramatic and also TV, TV worthy, but also can educate and entertain people at the same time. And I just think with characters in the space, like obviously SBF and, and Richard Hart and, and you guys and everyone's kind of a hero or a villain we've all got our favorites we all have our favorite coins our favorite kind of teams behind the scenes and this killer whales would kind of give those guys a platform to kind of to, to almost ask the questions that we all want to be asked and we all spend all our days on twitter and instagram and youtube trying to find these answers well killer whales would bring all that together and put these kind of founders and projects in front of um, people like you guys, people who understand what they're talking about and, and so that the viewers at home can have kind of an insight into kind of what um, what they should be looking out for and the risk and reward involved in crypto. So at the base of this show, Web3 projects are pitching their projects to the judges. What is the overall format that our audience can look forward to? Yeah, so like you, I'm a big fan of Shark Tank and I've watched it for the last 15 years, but I think it's time for the format to be reinvented and I think crypto and blockchain lets us do that. So the process at the moment is we've got, um, we're doing a global search for the top 50 projects across the world, whether they're in America, the UK, Asia, everywhere, we're kind of bringing everyone together. And then those projects would then be invited to Los Angeles, to Hollywood, to be on the actual show. And then those projects will then pitch to the five whales and each whale will vote sink or swim based on what, how they think that pitch has gone, what are the, the fundamentals, what are the tokenomics, what are the team, all the things that we all should be looking for in each project. And then each score is given a score out of five um, based on kind of those things I mentioned. So it's almost like combining Shark Tank with shows like The Voice or America's Got Talent or X Factor. And it's almost gamifying the whole kind of pitch process. Yo, I'm excited. I'm excited. So then the, the judges at the end of the round, then they give the the project a rating and they give their thoughts on the project. 
That's correct. Yeah. So out of five, so each each of the whales vote uh, sink or swim based on how they think the pitch went. And we've got this kind of amazing studio that you'll see in the trailer with a whole ceiling kind of the lighting of the ceiling turns red or green based on how the pitch went. So it's kind of that voting mechanism that really makes it easy for people to understand what the judges think of each project. And the judges in the space are, like you say, on crypto Twitter or YouTube, everyone's got their own opinion. So it kind of leads to so much drama and so much kind of asking the hard questions that I think need to be asked in this industry. Okay. I've heard about it. I love the concept. I want to watch Austin and Aaron and Paul on the show. <laughs> How can I watch? So we've got kind of two distribution strategies. We're going for a mainstream TV distribution. We've got 250 million homes in the US already signed up with a big major distributor. And we're talking to international distributors as well. Uh, the aim for the show is to get it in a billion households across the world. But the clever part of this, the real hook of it, is that there's also the Web3 version that you can access using the Hello token. So the other 7 billion in the world will have to pay just the Hello token to be able to watch the show. So it's a real kind of Web3 meets global television kind of concept. So I, I think there's, there's a lot of potential in this. The fact that you already have distribution on the streaming side is huge. Obviously, that comes in part because your background. It comes in part because of a great show. Why would somebody choose? I, and I love the fact that it is Web 2 and it's Web 3 because that's truly what's going to get the, the, mass, the masses watching. What is the benefit for watching through Web3? It's just the, the beauty of Web3 that it's everywhere so that there's no barriers to entry. Like everyone's got kind of their own Amazon or their Netflix and every region's got their own kind of versions of their streamers. But the great thing with Web3 is that it's everywhere. There's no barrier. So whether you're watching Joe you know, at 11 p.m. in LA or 7 a.m. in London or 4 p.m. in Singapore, it's all going to be live at the same time. So you can watch it, you can buy your Hello tokens, you can access the app and you can watch the show in real time. And I think it's going to be the first show that ever, ever to kind of experience that whole world is watching kind of phenomenon, which very few shows manage to gain. And because if you watch it on catch up, you've already missed your opportunity. And I think that's the really key thing. And that's something that I think when people realize that, how crypto is not only breaking down barriers across the world, but allows people to interact in real time as well. I think that's the real kind of the real hook of this and, the, and why I think it's going to be so huge. And then is there an NFT component or is that part of the Hello Token component? Yeah, there is. So I meet so many people. I'm, I'm lucky that I've worked in the TV industry for the last 10 years, but there's so many people that I meet that would love an opportunity to kind of have their voices heard when making these shows. So we're going to be creating a show producer and executive producer NFT collection that allows the holders to be able to interact with the shows, be in the Discord with the producers, be in the Discord with the whales, and kind of really feel part of it and really influence the show and how it's going to be put together and which projects will feature on the show. So the NFT holders get full control, or that they'll have some of the picks. If they, if you true, like what are the specifics? Yeah, so I wouldn't say. We've got to be careful that we don't give too much control away. We want them to be part of it and, and really have their voices heard. But we also want to lean on the kind of really quality of the Hollywood production team to be able to kind of really bolster and make this show. And then it's also then the NFT holders will be able to kind of vote on which projects they think they should feature. They'll be able to kind of have this say in the kind of the rough cuts of the show. They'll also be able to kind of interact with you guys, the whales and the production team. So I think it's more of a collaborative effort it's that NFT holders can work with the production team and together we'll have a really kind of um, really great foundation to build, build the show on. When's it going to air? So we're due to film in end of May with the broadcast going out in kind of September, October time. If the market keeps going the way it is and I hope and, and pray that we're still the build bull run continues for the rest of the year, we might bring those dates sooner. I think timing is everything in crypto. So finding a sweet spot where kind of people are optimistic again and, and we really kind of shine a light on the projects that are innovating, I think it's a perfect storm. And it, I think I'm looking at kind of Q2 into Q3 as, a, as the perfect time to launch the show. Links to Paul and Killer Whales and all this stuff down below. I encourage our audience to go follow. Of course, we'll be updating you throughout the process. Paul, thank you so much for coming on today. Final thoughts, final words for the Altcoin Daily audience. I think it's just a great time to be in the space. I feel as though the last bull run, kind of there was a lot of meme coins and, and everything was kind of just speculation. And I really feel like a lot of that's been cleared out. And I think 2023 into 2024 and 25. I think it's going to be a really great 
kind of time for the space and and uh, I'm super optimistic and it's great to be working with you guys and I think we're going to build something really special together and I think for the next hopefully this can be Shark Tank 2.0 or 3.0 uh, and run for the next 10-15 years and, and really kind of take crypto to the masses.